If you're a first time home buyer seeking information on qualifying for a mortgage, keep watching this video where we dive into the credit score. Hi, my name is Jennifer Canepoli and I sell residential real estate in Destin, Florida. Qualifying for a mortgage can seem overwhelming at times, even for the most seasoned buyer. So I am teaming up with my buddy, Bobby Andres, who is a loan originator expert to create a first time home buyer's guide and qualifying for a mortgage. And this video is all about credit building tips. Okay. Hi, Bobby. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Um, good. I see you're out on your uh, patio. Yes, I'm in my work uniform. I have several of these <laughs> for my, my new office at home. Your new office at home. Um, <laughs> if uh, Bobby Andres is a loan originator expert, and he and I have come together, and we are going to do a series um, for first time home buyers and qualifying for a mortgage. Um, so today we're going to be talking about credit score and um, how important is it? What is it exactly? Do you have credit? Uh, do you have bad credit? And uh, he's going to elaborate on some of that for us. So thank you for joining me today, Bobby. Um, kind of give us kind of an overall like definition of the credit score and how it's important to uh, a mortgage. So your credit score is kind of like the universal standard by which creditors like myself, like um, auto loan companies, credit card companies, use to evaluate uh, an individual's credit worthiness or the level of risk that they are to repaying that amount that they are borrowing or that we are lending to them. Okay. Okay. Um, um, probably not always the best standard of, of measurement. It's certainly not perfect, but it is the best that we have right now. It's the best that you have right now. And then uh, one of the questions that I saw online when I was doing research for this is what, which, score, which score is most important to um, the loan buying process specifically? For the loan buying process, so we take the middle of the three scores. So you have um, TransUnion, Equifax, and then what's uh, the third one? I always forget the third one. Did you say is Ron? Experian, exactly. That's it. There's two E's in there. But we take the middle uh, out of those three. Those are the three credit reporting bureaus. So if you do have a credit card, they report to all three of those. And okay. you see a lot of variance. Uh, I think um, a lot of question is, you know, I, I see my credit score on Credit Karma is different from when we pull credit. And the reason for that is that depending on the actual, like, item that you're asking for credit for, like a house versus a car versus a credit card. Each of those companies has a different scoring model. Okay. So while Credit Karma is a good rule of thumb, like mm -hmm. typically whenever we pull credit, it, it can be off anywhere from 40, 50 points in either direction. Okay. To address those, um, it also depends on when your creditors report your, your information to those credit reporting bureaus as to why you see a lot of variance in the credit scores in the credit models, in um, the different bureaus, and, and on whatever platform you use to monitor your own credit. Okay. Um, so now that we know that the credit score is pretty important for a loan, um, what what is, okay, so banks are tightening up on their um, criteria right now to qualify for a loan because of everything that's happening. Um, what is a good rule of thumb on credit score? Like what's the the minimum credit score a buyer should have right now to, to go in and um, shop for loans? Um, I would say the higher, the better, but at a minimum floor figure, about a 640 is usually what I recommend. Okay. Is what you'll, you shouldn't have as much issue getting a loan through the process if your score is at least above a 640. Like I said, go for the higher score, the higher your credit score is, the better interest rates you're gonna get, a little smoother of a process on the way forward, but at the very minimum of 640, you'll find that some banks will still loan to credit scores less than 640, but they're quickly going away or it's a lot harder to find. And 
you might have a lot more difficult of a process. They're going to ask you for a lot more documentation. They're going to get a lot more verifications from, say, your, your landlord, um, your employers, your banks, they're, they're going to scrutinize everything a lot more. Right. I have, I have been through um, that type of situation with a couple buyers and it is a lot of extra work. It's crossing T's, dotting I's and giving away babies almost to get that loan closed. So exactly. We usually, if the credit score is kind of on that lower end, we'll usually recommend that, you know, you get in touch with a credit reporting company or a credit not a reporting company, but our credit repair company, and, and have them kind of guide you and create an action plan to get that score a little bit higher, at least above that 640 threshold, to where it becomes a little bit easier to process the loan itself. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, I know you're not um, a credit a credit um, expert, you're right. a loan originator expert, but let's just talk a little bit about if you don't, if let's just say the buyer doesn't have credit or needs to repair credit, like let's kind of just touch base on that a little bit and I'll pull well, up the information. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of have to caveat that by saying, you know, even though we do pull credit reports a lot, we do work around the credit reports a lot. We're technically not licensed credit counselors. So anything that I, I would really say is to get in touch with a company like Lexington Law, a Care Credit, Google it, and kind of find somebody who dabbles in that realm or whose expertise and licensure is in that realm to give you an action plan, to give you the advice to raise your score. Like we can really only tell you kind of what we've seen in the past and then defer that out to those companies to give you a better idea of what to do. Gotcha. So I did do a little bit of research this morning, um, and there is a ton of information online. You guys, if you need um, advice on how to re repair your credit, go online and think about some simple things. Like this is just like simple common sense, like pay your bills on time. Um, kind of like what Bobby was talking about before the variance between credit scores. If, if, if companies aren't getting information in time, um, that's another thing you can do. Check with your um, check and make sure that if there is any discrepancies that it gets corrected quickly so that it will help bring your score up. So um, and one thing that Bobby had said was to contact these companies that will help you. I think that's an excellent idea. Um, my husband and I have done that in the past um, and follow it to a T. If they tell you to do something, do it um, because we have we have the interest rates are so low right now. This is a perfect time for um, first time home buyers to uh, get their foot in the door with a home. And if your credit score is bad, start working on it now and do it quickly. Correct. And do it sooner rather than later because credit scores are so dependent on time that occurs between when an account was opened, when a derogatory item was paid off versus when you end up pulling the trigger later on on purchasing a home or pulling your credit again, that the sooner you do it, the better that effect will be down the road once you do decide to pull the trigger or you do feel like you are in a position to purchase a home. Okay, so that brings me to kind of my last question and I think it ties in well. Let's just say someone has bad credit. How long does it take to repair that credit? Um, like I said, I can really only attest to what I've seen in the past, but anywhere from three months for just a couple small items that they take care of to potentially a year. Okay. Is, is kind of like what I've seen on, on the other end of the spectrum. But like I said, again, we refer everything out to credit experts. So they'll be able to tell you a little better on timelines, how long it's going to take and in the details and particulars. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, um, for mortgages, for a, a lot of other items, like a common item that I get asked is, you know, if I pay this off right now, will it make a big, a big drop in my credit score going forward? In actuality, I've seen things that you pay off, like old collections that have gone dormant on your credit report. If you pay those off, your credit score is going to take a hit in the beginning as that account becomes active. When you okay. pay it off, it comes, active, it comes out of dormancy. And then that it negatively impacts your credit score in the beginning from what I've seen. And then, like I said, so long as you knock that out early or follow the advice of a credit, 
uh, repair agency, and they'll be able to tell you a little better about, you know, the effects of paying off one account versus another account, or just leave one account alone versus paying it off, and, and what effect that'll have, and what time frame that effect will will really, you know, impact your scores. Okay. So credit reports or credit scores are important. Um, so get that in line. Like if you, if you need to repair it, repair it. If you need to create it, create it. Um, thank you, Bobby, for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, <laughs> sorry, we are going to, um, this is a series and it's all about uh, first time home buyers and qualifying for a mortgage. So uh, next time we come on to talk, which will be in a couple weeks, we are going to talk about down payment and PMI and what that means and how that applies to the loan and to the home buyer. Um, so again, Bobby, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody say bye to Bobby. Yeah. Thanks again, Bobby. So we know that the credit score is incredibly important for qualifying for a mortgage. So all you first time home buyers out there, um, check on your credit, find out where you stand. If you need to repair your credit, repair it. Um, if you need to build your credit, build it. Um, so I would really like to know, let's, for all of you out there who need to repair your credit, um, are you, would you go with um, an expert on the subject and pay them to help you repair your credit? or? Are you going to go out there online and get some tips and try to do it yourself? Either way, do it um, and do exactly what they say. In two weeks, we're going to be talking about down payment and PMI. Click the link to subscribe to our channel, um, like our videos, share our videos, and we'll see you every week on Wednesday. Bye.